Welcome back everyone to the Mac Team Builder Dynasty. We're kicking off season number five with, of course, your beloved Southern Michigan Robins. Week one action, here we go. And your very first look at the Indiana Gary Gladiators. The uniforms. two new teams today, South Dakota A&M and Gary Gladiators. Both teams pretty good coming out of the FCS though. This might be a step up in competition for them a little bit, depending on whether or not Southern Michigan made strides over the course of this past year. I think they are a better football team than they were last year. Oh, definitely. We can already see it. We have Benjamin Payton, not Benjamin Potion. It was oh. a typo, apparently. It is Benjamin Payton. We have our freshman taking us up to the 50-yard line. We got some good passes from Bailey Verlise, a senior now. He's ready to take the next step in his collegiate career. We got Benjamin Payton yet again with another catch here. Another, well, another big play for him. But Verlise throwing to Juco receiver Dylan Harrison. What's up with this team now? Like, we've got all these offensive pieces. Everybody's new and different, and it's it's fun. Yeah, well, it's amazing what new players can do for you. The talent can do. Oh. Big play, though, for the Gladiators. Trying to make a bit of a comeback here. I was, on. I was usering May softly, and it just didn't work out. Yeah, this guy Gloss seems to be very involved in the passing game so far. Skyler Abreu is your uh, quarterback, and he hits none other than Jacob you, Gloss. You know, you're sitting there trying to think that as the DB, they're gonna they're gonna cut out, aren't they? But instead, he cut in. It's a touchdown for Gary. We got a high ball game here, seven seven. Now here's. Michael Wilson for 20 yards, and a really nice throw from Bailey Release, throwing right over top of the defender's beautiful throw and catch. A little play action here from Release oh, to Glover. Oh, but he cut in. Yeah, I was hoping that we were going to catch it on the break, on the route, exactly. And perfect, nope. but it, it didn't happen. That was so. safety Thailand Dubois with the INT. Go back to Thailand. Atreyu <laughs> gets tackled there by Kalu for a loss. Abreu bombing it. I think he's got his man. That is Robinson, the big wideout speedster, too. A very talented wide receiver, Jamie Robinson. Yeah, that one was tough. Just really split the two defenders. The corner got beat. Safety couldn't come over. The rest is history. So 14-7, Benjamin Payton in the end zone. Here we go. He's going to take this thing out. We got good blocking up front. He makes one cut. Oh. He looks to be gone. Benjamin Payton no. for the touchdown, but... No. There's a flag. No. Of course there's a flag. Why can't we just have nice things here? Because you're Southern Michigan. God, That's why. Dude, a clipping call in the backfield. That's on Pinky Kilgore, unfortunately. Yep, Jack another Pinky. another custom player. But Bailey Verlise going to fire up the middle. That is James Moore for 21. We're picking up chunk yardage right here. I love what this offense has been able to do. We got a little play action, a little rollout here. Second and one, Verlis got nobody open, just fires it up into the end zone. J David Jones. David is, Jones. He's come up with some big catches since he donned the Southern Michigan uniform. Yeah, he's all right. Makes another big one here. 14-14. Receivers, three of them out to the left side. They're going to throw it right that's Collins with the catch and Darby's the only man to catch him down at the one and a half Davison Collins unreal this offense is really tough to beat but oh, we let Skyler Abreu go and he takes it in himself so a 21-14 game here closing in on the first half and we have Benjamin Payton is gone he must have oh, used some potion the magic potion invisibility cloak <laughs> let's go can't get the tackle him. Oh, they got him. Oh, he's got a 40-yard return there. I was really hoping for a touchdown right there. Wouldn't oh, that have wow. been hilarious? That would have been good. But I just want to see the celebration. Yeah, we, did, we didn't. We didn't get it. But take a Whoa, look. The next no! play, Benjamin Payton. Look at this throw from Verlise, just right over top. They've got this connection happening here. Why wasn't he like gassed? I don't know because he's awesome. We got Gary defenders over there on our sidelines. Just some weird stuff happening here, yeah. guys. Oh, good blocking. <laughs> oh. Chambers. No, that hasn't changed. No, we're trying to lay the boomstick, and he's gone. That's Uriah Mayo Okay, for back. the touchdown. Only 110 yards rushing. They seem to be doing the majority of their damage in the passing game so far. That one hurt. That one hurt. We, we have yet to figure out how to stop the run with this team. It's mm -hmm. been five years of just the same old, same old. But Verlise, he's going to say, I'm just like a running back. I can do it, too. Verlise is gone. Touchdown Southern. 
take one more look at this play. He didn't really even have to spin, but I think he freaked the defender out to the point that he just sprung free. We didn't even know roll out cheese here. We're just trying to get some positive yardage. Yeah. Little spin, freaks his man out. 28-28. 2.04 to go. Pass. Incomplete. We finally got a stop on defense. We might have lucked out right here. So next possession after Gary's possession, we do pick up the first down with about 20 seconds left to go. That's Cameron Turner picking it up. And with 18 seconds, Verlees firing to the end zone. That is James Moore for 19 and a touchdown. Yeah, good stuff. Bailey Verlees, 310 and four touchdowns in the first half. A lot of offense, man. He is now a lot of offense. Peyton Manning. <laughs> He's a 99. I mean, yeah, that's what we're talking about here. Pinky Kilgore is invisible. Going after Abreu causes a fumble. And you know who picked it up? Pinky Kilgore. Pinky Kilgore. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What is happening? What is happening? Well, that's the, that's the only way you can win is by taking these invisibility but, potions. But there he is right there. He, he's, on, he's on the screen now. Now he's there. But, but he's not the one who caused the fumble, so that is yeah. just the ghost. Nico Billups will check in as the quarterback here, and he will get a big chunk of yards there. 16 yards. That'll be his only action of the game. Third and 13. Verlise, after a couple of plays where they got caught in the backfield. Can't get the throw off. We had a couple guys open up the middle, but incomplete nonetheless. And we'll settle for in a field goal attempt. That is Johnson banging it through. We're up by 10. That's a big kick right there. Because going up by two scores, you can give you can give up some points here to Gary, and that's alright. You're still hanging in with the lead here. But we do stop him again, just out of bounds. We might be getting lucky a little bit. Gary goes down by a touchdown. Here's Timmy Klink getting his first carry of the ball game. Let's get run. 12 yards. Yeah, nice option play. Looks like you're going back to the ground game, but with Orlando Glover, the fifth year running back here. Third and inches. He's having himself a pretty nice game. He got 60 yards with 14 rushing attempts, and then on third and inches, he gets another one. Six yards there, up to 66 yards rushing. 4.4 average. I like it. Verlise, third and 11. Third down and 11. Good. Get eight. You went with the third down screen? I did dead because we're just going to settle for that field goal we don't want right. to push it you know third down 11 you know you really want to risk another interception we've already did it earlier in the game but 335 gary down by 10 yet again they're gonna have to come up with a big play oh no interception darby oh keep your balance kid you can't do it but that is the second turnover by the gladiators and the second one how disappointing by abreu how disappointing Third and goal, we go with a fullback fake. A little toss to Glover. We had some openings there. I probably should have just handed it off to the fullback. That would have gotten us a touchdown. But either way, we get the field goal back. Right, so 44-31. Now a deep bomb here. Abreu's going to find Horvath, and we can't make the tackle. Guys, this game's not over. They got two timeouts with a minute 52. Hmm. Well, they're going to need the onside kick, obviously. That's easier said than done. So let's see if they can pull it out. Nick Dockery. No bounce. Get down. Don't take a big hit. Don't fumble it. Nice. We're going to win this game by six, aren't we, guys? Big opening win for Smooth well, to beat the. It's not over yet. To beat the FCS call up here. Second down and 11. They'll call a timeout. They still get a lot of time. Yeah, a lot got... of time left. We got to pick up this first down, guys. You can ice the game if you pick up the first down. Hmm. Trying to stay in bounds, burn the timeout. Third down and seven, a minute 54. What's the call? Do you run it, kill the clock, or do you try to pick up the first down? Extremely tough situation, but we are going to throw it. And Verlise, scanning the field. Got He's got, got a wide open Wilson. Just should run Get out, out of bounds here. Yeah, don't like, there's no point. But, you yeah. know, we're stupid still. We're mm -hmm. stupid. We got the win, but we're still stupid. That's okay. Verlise, 31 to 37, 388 in five total TDs. Good opening win. Yeah, that's uh, you're on track for bowl eligibility. That's the goal this year, right? Correct. Get the six and six. Correct. Like Huron, we have Southern, or sorry, oh, I got confused. South Dakota A&M. Okay. Sadamu. Sadamu, as we call him. Duckett, the quarterback, pitching to Wanzak. Caleb Wanzak. This guy gets annoying pretty fast. And here's the running back, Lachlan Guidry, Ooh. blowing over our guy, <laughs> bowling over. 
blowing him down with, you know, like, a oh. piece of straw. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. But, I mean, this is not a very good start to our season, Lake Huron. You know, we had a disappointing year last year. I thought last year we could have gotten 6-6. Six and six. You know, we lost some bad games, and now we're off on a bad foot again. I really am a fan of these uniforms. I'm really a fan. I love this. I love this matchup here. We got the red, or like I don't know, the crimson. The color, colors don't mesh together very well. I think they're cool. I mean, I, I think it's pretty sweet. Like, uh oh, oh, could have been an interception here, but Smith is going to take it all the way. Yeah. Well, Tito Ramos plays wide receiver too. Up past the 15-yard mark. <laughs> He's our where, fifth wide receiver. Where's Tito, Tito Ramos? He was our fifth wide receiver in that formation. Oh, that's why they checked him in. So you know, 440. I like what our offense can do, though. I think it'll keep keep us in this game. But you know, if South Dakota is going to run the ball on us like this, we got to change something up fast. Well, I mean, you mentioned it in the in the preview video that they love to run the football. So, and then now yeah, that they're, they're trying to throw it on you, throwing it on us too. Yeah, they're, they're just having their way. BK, <laughs> Lachlan Gidry down at the one yard line, and we're going to sell out. Try to get this fourth and goal. Stop the pitches there. Oh. Can we wrap him up? Got him. Wow. Short. That is huge. Honestly, I could hear you. I, I didn't watch this game. I didn't watch you play it, but I could hear you there. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, that's like what Bear Kegger's saying. At the one-yard line, second down 11, pass completed to Wyatt Pico, who's now an impact player for you. You know, he deserves it. He's going to play running back this year a handful as well, alongside Buttermilk at running back. But he is still our slot guy. But we see him here in the backfield. Stra oh, oh. you got to turn your head. Got yeah, to turn your head, got to make that uh, completion, help your quarterback out. But, yeah, almost picked off. And then second down and four, first quarter winding down. That's Juan Zek again getting involved. 17-yard catch. Yeah, I told you, he's getting annoying fast. <laughs> Gidry up the middle. Big so game. is this guy. Lachlan, Lachlan Gidry. Gidry. He keeps busting off the first tackle. Yeah, he's, he's little, but he's tough to bring down. There he goes. Easy touchdown for the fighting pheasants. And it's now 14 to 3. This is not as going as well as your game. Oh. Here's Chan Buttermilk. Makes one move. Can he go? Oh, he's gone. Where's the wheels? He's gone. The very next play. After surrendering a touchdown, we yes. go slipping Buttermilk out of the backfield. And he takes us to the prospect love, baby. I love it. We haven't seen a lot of Chan Buttermilk highlights, well, but that's one's a good one. He wasn't even a Patreon guy. He was in the open submission. That's true. So he was like a he was like a 50 player when he got here, started. And look at him now. He's a starting running back. All right, 14-10. Pheasants are driving again, and Gidry. Oh, my gosh. He had him. It was terrible. Look at this big He's gain. still, still on his going. feet down at the one-yard line. A little Toby Gerhardt action going on. Dingle. Goes for the quarterback, Riley Strange, scores this touchdown, and now it's 21-10. We barely have gotten one stop so far on defense. Man. It took us 99 yards, but we got the one stop out of four. Yeah, this is uh, this is tough right now, but somehow, I mean, it feels like Sadamu is in control of the game completely, yep. And, yep. <laughs> but it's still an eight-point deficit for you. No longer as Frisch gets the touchdown for 55. Now 28 third. Where's the speed? Classen at cornerback. This is FBS versus FCS. And they're the skill guys are faster than my DBs. I mean, well, this is terrible. You gotta pick it up in the recruiting trail here, little yeah. bro. Yeah, they do. Down by 15, 28, 13, 44 seconds to go. That's that's a that's a that's a me read. I'm surprised you saw that. <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> down at the down at the one yard line. You get you get predictable on your yeah, routes. Yeah, so yeah, that's true. That was impressive. That was impressive. Heath Johnson, tight end, touchdown. A little handoff there. Yeah, well, he's playing fullback for us right now. Two seconds. You know, why not? Why not score? Duck it. Okay. Incomplete. But he's now 11 for 13. So he's still, got two incomplete backs. Still down by eight. Yeah, we just, get the ball. We get the ball to start the second half. So this is still not completely a dire situation. Buttermilk. Cutting it, makes some nice moves. Gets 11 yards. We got a first and 10 here with about 335. We're killing clock on this drive, and we think we got a strike oh, to Ravensburg. I love that you did that. I don't know where that came from. I love that. I don't know where it came from. I love the risk taking right there, man. Well, you, my initial route was was dead on I the know, left but side. It's, it's like look around and say, what else is out there? Oh, I think I can drive. It's like you're you're there's a maturation process that I'm watching. Well, I haven't played this game in like two months. So. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Fresh right. 
breaks the first tackle. Cluche is the only man to get him. He pushes him out of bounds. It's a big touchdown saving tackle right there. Two minutes in the third. Duckett with the pump fake. He's going to throw it up the middle. I think the pressure got to him a little bit. Yeah, Sykes with a hit. Holds him to a field goal, so it's a quasi stop. Not really a stop. Ooh, another Hamilton up the middle, so we're looking good here. Almost at the 20-yard line now. I've always liked that guy. Yeah, he's he works. He works. He puts the work in. Fortuna. The one thing you can't do, we're in field goal range. <laughs> and he loses the ball. And look at the down and distance now. It's third and 29. Just pick up something. Oh, Pico. Look at the throws over top of the defenders, man. You are... You're reading this. We got 26 of them back to set us up with a game tying field goal. So now there's 5.45 left. Duckett scanning around to Garlock, the tight end, and we get a stop. That is huge. Now we're going to try to grind some game down, maybe set up for a field goal, hopefully just score the touchdown, but game is in our hands. We are in control right now. Pico up the middle for nine. Little guy, got to hold on to the football, man. They're going to be exactly. coming for you. So now we're down to two minutes, and we go to Johnson trying to push it forward, we, and we do get the first and goal. Second and goal now. Pico running. It stopped. He'll set up third and goal. We're going to snap it here. 110 left to go. Fortuna in oh! the back in the end zone to Wyatt Pico. No way. We flipped it over. And he oh, converts. Look, at did you see the pressure that was on Fortuna right there? But somehow he got the throw off just high enough where Pico, the smallest guy yeah. in the field, could catch that thing. Now we, could have, we may have been able to grind the game down a little bit longer, but the Pheasants wouldn't have used their timeout. So I didn't think that was completely logical or fair. So I gave him a puncher's chance here. All right. Uh-oh. 38-31. We've got to keep him out of the end zone. Oh, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. They're down to one timeout. 37 seconds. Duck is scrambling. There's nobody on Gets it. Gets the first down. A lot of room. Oh, we played so okay. deep on that. So they've at least got the field goal here. Second down and goal. You do dive at his feet. You can't get him. And it's a touchdown by Bryson Irby. So you got to be you gotta be feeling bad about that one. Just well, giving him an extra time. You know, we do have 24 seconds and three timeouts. Let's okay. see if we can get this done. All right, come on. 22 seconds. Fortuna to Pico. He's been a weapon all game long. Right. 13 yards right there. Gonna need some more chunks. Yeah, but the no huddle's not really gonna work here. It's just gonna be play, timeout, play, timeout, kind of deal. Joe Stewart for 12. Call it again. All right, 12 seconds. We go incomplete there. Eight seconds left with one timeout. Fortuna gets a strike to Stewart, and we are on go. the edge. Go, go. Well, we got the timeout. We're just gonna call it. I wanted to get the replay in. Oh. So I was watching the clock and making sure we're good. All right, timeout. Let's do it. Kepa Ariza Balaga. They want me to go for it. Ariza Balaga. Okay. We got a 44-yard field goal, but look at the wind. It went 10 miles an hour. Oh, don't tell me you missed this left. Let's see. Let's see. That's The wind complicated things. All the Here. way down, right? Got it all the way down. Oh, no. We kicked it a little bit. Is it going to curve? Oh, no. <laughs> how did I miss a field goal? I didn't even watch this game, but I knew it. I was like, dude, you're going to miss this left. Look how close it was. Look at it. I wow. overcompensated for the wind, I guess. I mean, I don't think I meant to flick it that last little bit yeah. to the left. I flicked it a little bit left. Ah, that sucks. But you know what? In real life, that is an incredibly tough kick. That would have been hard. For Ten mile an hour wind right there. That is tough. For college kicker, it's extremely tough. But let's go to overtime. We've got a John Elway type of uh, jump. <laughs> jump there and tackle. Heath Johnson Heath for the touchdown. In OT, 45-38. Third down and nine here. For the fighting pheasants, oh, they go with us. Why? But a oh, missed tackle will get them a fourth and inches opportunity. This is your ball game. They're going draw again. Up the middle of the Lachlan Gidry. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, we're selling out to stop this option run thing, and <laughs> Duckett wins. <laughs> you sell out. You go pump block, and he says one stiff arm, and that's all he needed. Field goal block. Yeah, yeah. Oh, anyway, all right. They get the ball back here for double overtime. Ah. Duck it. Oh, they're going to give it to him. I thought he may have been short. thought the one-yard line monster would have gotten him, but he scores. So now Lake Huron needs to respond. Guys are covered downfield. Buttermilk gets killed on this play. He got pasteurized. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. All right, third and ten. We're flipping it to Pico, and we'll have a fourth and two. 520 yards passing is pretty good. Oh, yeah, well, you have to. 45-52, you got to go. 
What Let's do you got, do it. Fortuna? Nobody really there. We got our guy. Oh, it's Pico. <laughs> Gets the catch for six yards to keep our game alive. Fortuna under pressure. Flips to Pico. Dodging his way inside. Third and one. Trying to convert here. Another, Johnson scores. Another touchdown for Johnson. This has got to be his third. His third of the game for the tight end. Okay. So we get the ball back here. Got to go for two now if we score. Third overtime, guys. Here's a no! pass. No! No! The first pass of triple overtime. I don't think you saw him. No, I, I really didn't. I really didn't. Man. You were looking at that cut. Yeah. And then you're like, that's got to be it. But here Those we go. Was the safety making a good play? we got to get a negative play here on Duckett to keep them. Yeah. you got to push them back or you got to get a turnover. That's yeah, your so only hope here. Or selling miss, out. miss field goal something. Third and one, that's the good job right there. But a field goal <sighs> attempt. Yeah, but you got a good kicker, though. And here we go. That's it. Into the safe hands of Allstate. Unbelievable. For your ball game, another blown game for Lake Huron that we could have won. Ah, that one hurts, man. And you know, the biggest thing about this game, the missed opportunities. The turnover and the missed field goal and maybe possibly the clock management towards the end of the game. I know, you, I know I'm know, i going to give it to you that you're trying to look out for the CPU there because they do stupid things. I just felt it'd be really cheap if I took it all the way down. Like, I get go, it. They go to the end of the game with three timeouts like that. Yeah. yeah. Still, oh. I would have had the killer instinct. Yeah, I know you would. <laughs> I'm not that desperate yet for wins. Oh, okay. All right, Michigan, That's Ohio Western. Okay. This is Ohio Western's marquee non-conference game. They are hosting the number four Michigan Wolverines. This is kind of a new concept here. Michigan going on the road to play a non-conference game? I thought that was a little weird when I was watching this game play out, but, you know, I, I respect it. I think outside of Notre Dame, the last time that happened was uh, probably like 2006. Five. I don't know. Michigan never goes on the road oh. to play nine conference games. Hey. But we got Larry Potts at quarterback. Mm -hmm. Got some good wide receiver weapons here for Ohio Western. Antoine Ball, former number one prospect in the land. Yeah, you know, if Ohio Western wants to come back and become a player on the national stage again, I think this game is a must win. Mm -hmm. I think you got to win this game if you want to try to get into that New Year's Six conversation. And we'll see how they do. But even this is a just, good Michigan team. Even just earning some respect, like, back on your name yeah. is just to compete in the game. Don't get blown out by number four in the nation. Yeah, they didn't have a very good year last year. I think they went 8-4, and four, right? 8-4. and four. That's and what I was expecting them to go this year. But, you know, so far they're up 7 nothing. Larry Potts with that touchdown. And oh. They're going to get this one back. This guy Michigan killed is. us uh, last year. Christian Dixon. I remember that name. Yeah. Generic as it is. I remember it. He killed us. There he is again. Another big play for Dixon and he bounces off the would-be tackler 41 yards on that catch so his last one was a one yard touchdown catch mm -hmm. he's got 42 right now but somehow stayed in bounds possibly this would be reviewed and they would rule that he actually stepped out a little bit earlier than that but he catches a touchdown again that's number two for Dixon Vincent and Dixon have this combination happening here Potts Leading his troops down the field, he'll get sacked for eight. Yeah, from the one-yard line. So he Third down and goal. goal. Toshane, nothing really. Two yards. Questionable play call there. They will kick the field goal. Third down and two with about a minute 40 left to go. Little soft throw, little touch pass to the left side. With big first down for the Wolverines. First and 10 into mm. traffic. Still caught for a first down. Touchdown Michigan. That's Tavier. Dunlap and he's or Tavir. Yeah, he's been I guess killing as a it. Michigan today. fan, I should know that. He's been killing it today. A lot of good runs on the ground for Michigan. Ohio Western got to respond here, but Michigan starting the ball here in the second half. Advantage Wolverines. Oh, get it. But we get a fumble strip sack. Good play for the Ohio Western defense. This is going to be a, a tough front and a good secondary, and those are the plays they got to make. So Larry Potts running option. No. Oh, he does. Oh, he does the Jacoby Myers play. That's unreal. I thought I thought I saw Mac Jones open. <laughs> he thought, well, at least this is Toshane. My softy. So he's a little bit a little bit more athletic than Mac oh, Jones. My God. But you know. Oh well. <laughs> I still think that's hilarious. I that's thought I, I saw heard. Mac Jones open. Think about what, what you just said. What's he gonna do with the ball when he gets it? Oh wow. All so, right. Huge defensive play. This is Justice Jackson. Mm, look at that throw. 
that I, I've been calling. I said Larry Potts is going to have a huge game today. We took him out of the game because I couldn't stand that turnover. I was, But I've been high on Justice Jackson. I feel like he should be the guy. And these two throws prove to you that he should be. That's, that's incredible. He comes into this game up against number four, Michigan, and, and throws two, two incredible passes, one for a touchdown. Unbelievable. And now the defense is inspired. They're going to make a stop. Now if you're Ohio Western, you got to get another score because you're going into the end of the third quarter here. You need to get this thing 28-24. Absolutely has to happen. Third down and three. Here comes Jackson just trying his best to stay on his feet, Aww. but... Wolverines are swarming. They're everywhere. They're going to get him sacked, and they'll have to pump the football away. So here in the fourth quarter, Vincent, pass going to be incomplete. So Ohio Western gets another stop. Jackson, pass complete on fourth down and in inches. Another fourth and five. Let's see if he's got the clutch gene in mm. his system, and yes. he looks like he might. Yeah, that's a, that's a great throw right there, especially on fourth down. That's a pretty gutsy call there, but again, another fourth down situation. I would have kicked the field goal in this situation. Ah. Yeah. Get it 28-20, just keep yourself in the ball game, because now it's over. And, you know, the receiver quarterback connection thing there, he just he tried to come back to the football, and it cost him them the first down, yeah. unfortunately. So Dixon's your player of the game? How about that? Two yeah. touchdowns for the wide receiver. Don't blame him. Okay, we have Alpina versus Alabama. Number one versus number seven in Charlotte. This is our North feature Carolina. game of the night. Yes, and the debut of one, the glitch. The opening game for his career. He's only, he's uh, one. He's one years old, <laughs> and he doesn't know football very well. But he's getting a feel for his new body, mm -hmm. and he's starting to learn the ropes. Yeah, he's got it. He's uh, he hasn't busted off some tackles like I thought he would have. Well, here he is, nine break defensive tackle. end. He's playing all over the field, and you know formation subs and different positions, and he's going to move around and play all kinds of different positions. So let's see him here at defensive end. Look at that spin move. Oh, and he's going to kill that quarterback. Brandon <laughs> Simmons, the backup, checking in for Milrow. But the glitch is on the board with a sack. We gotta check the Alpina bulletin board for any bounties, because yeah, that was a vicious spin move and that was a vicious takedown. Yeah. Glitch giving some good blocking for quarterback El Karaz. Mustafa El Karaz gets it to Kirkwood for a big game. And gonna be short there for McCullough. So now it's gonna be three nothing. So not a ton of offense here. Maybe the glitch can keep it going here defensively. Milro checks back in the game, gets a huge gain, big hit, but he's still toughing this out. Second four, and they're gonna give that to the glitch. They are. They are. Must have gotten a hand in there to trip him up a little bit. He's now got two sacks in his collegiate debut against number one Alabama. So what's okay. he going to do in Mac play? Right. <laughs> He's going to be absolutely insane. But they're going to rule this not a catch. They'll review it. And it is reversed. I thought it should have been. I thought it was weird that they didn't give it to him. Alabama was down at the one-yard line. And Milrow will score with a one-yard touchdown. So the Crimson Tide are now in the lead. All right, second and four. It's the glitch again. Big game. 13 yards. Getting involved in the rushing attack. Gotta love it. But he is now the center on this play here. I'll cross down to the one yard line. Look, look, at, right. look at the glitch right here. Just giving some blocks, yes. man. Use him no as penetration. Your, your lead blocker. Follow the glitch. He will take you to hell. <laughs> or the promised land. <laughs> look oh, at yeah, this that's a big hit. Woo. He's all over the place. Dude, this is what they were hoping for. Another TFL. Look at He saw the prey and he pounced. Yes, he's a hunter. It's like a puma out there. Stalking his prey. Third and goal. Milrow firing it. Touchdown, Alabama. It's Corey King with the touchdown. So for all of the love that we're giving the glitch, Alabama's in the lead. Here's the backup quarterback. It's Aiden Oliver in checking in. I don't know what Karaz's situation is. I just took him out. I thought I wanted to give I wanted to give Aiden Oliver a okay. chance here at the end of the half to make a throw. Right, but here's your Hail Mary quarterback. Yeah. It's Hail. the glitch. Hail Mary, here we go. Second and three. Got. Glitch. Good arm strength. Unbelievable Ooh. arm strength. Very good. For the lefty. 0 for 1 so far on the day at QB. But as we mentioned, it's 14 to 10. So the alpacas need to get something going here offensively. And 
Anthony Grimshaw. Now he does check in to start the third quarter as the starting quarterback. Now he does, look at this, this play action. Beautiful! I mean, it set him up perfectly. You had, you had him going after the glitch. He hands it off to Grimshaw. Then they run the same play, but this time it's a throw. It's a perfect throw. Glitch with his first collegiate touchdown. The ultimate gadget player right there, man. I love it. Anderson for 30 yards. Alabama in field goal range. Third and 10. They're going to pitch it out. And it looks like they're going to score down, uh, down at the one-yard line. Yeah. First and go, Milrow's got all day. Where's the glitch on pressure? We need glitch. Oh, you know, I didn't even, even see him on the field. He yeah. might have been taking that playoff, which is disappointing. But here he is at fullback. Oh, little, oh another Fake. misdirection. Look at, they are selling out for the glitch. That's El Karaz with the broken tackle, and he looks to and be the glitch gone. Gets a block downfield. So El Karaz, well, you know, we haven't talked about him too much today, but he's having... A pretty solid game here, his first start here for Alpina. They have the ball back here late fourth. They're going to flip one out. Nice pivot play. <laughs> and a stiff arm. Is that Grimshaw? It is Grimshaw. Wow, a touchdown. Look at this little guy. Little guy with a lot of heart. Or black magic. Whatever you want. Boom! Get off me. Well, I love the pivot because most players would just fall out of bounds right yeah. there. And he just took it. Oh, nice hit. Milrow incomplete. Beautiful pressure. 31-21 now. Looks like he might have his man, and oh. that is none other than Corey King. That's a beautiful throw. On the run, throwing like a shortstop. I love it, man. He's a baseball guy. 31-28. Karaz. Completion to Rodrigo McMath for 13. Three minutes. 25. You gotta kill the clock. It's, a, it's all about the clock game now, but you can't have this. The penalties, man. You can't get pushed back. They're going to go play action here. They're going to check it down to Handsome Guy for four. They, so they get a little bit of that penalty yardage back. Second down and 11. More manageable third down now. Third and nine. Can they get the first down and kill the rest of this game off? They're going to be short. They're going to have to punt the football away. Go for it. No, this is punt. tough, man. First down and 10. Here's Milrow trying to break the sack. He's going to go down for a six-yard loss. Second and six, they hurry up to the line. Milrow spins into the defender. Another sack, that's Fuego Puffenhammer, or Puffenhammer. Something like Palmer. that, yeah. Oh, nice play, <laughs> huge breakup. That's a great play. Yep, that's gonna be Rodolfo Wallace, I believe, on the coverage. Fourth and 23, Alabama forced to punt here. Glitch. With three timeouts, Glitch is on return duty. He's got a lane. That's like the perfect return, man. It might not have been much, but it gets you into field goal range if you need it, if you want it. Grimshaw picks up the first down, guys, and that looks to do it. I mean, they've got three timeouts here. They're already in scoring position. Glitch gets it for five more, and this is it, guys. This is it. Second and five. Grimshaw, first down picked up. Ball again. Game is over. I think, so the, glitch, I think the glitch is your player of the game. He has to be, oh, but they're going to give it to El Caraz. Yeah, you know, I mean, he had the big touchdown run there, but good one for Alpina. They are going to surge in the polls. So like you said, Alpina surging up the polls. They beat number one, Bama. Bama goes to number seven. Alpina moves up from seven to number three. Yeah, it's a big win. And with Alpina playing Gary and South Dakota A&M, this was going to be their biggest marquee game of the season, and they passed the test. Holding Alabama to 309 yards of offense, we see the numbers. Oliver 101 for 7, the glitch 4 of 5 for 48 and a touchdown. Caraz, El Caraz, 14 for 18. And he also had 100 yards rushing, yeah. glitch 46. 12 attempts right there for the glitch. He also, he was, he was checked in at receiver sometimes, but he did not come up with a grab. But defensively, Let's take a look at that glitch. Lawrence Taylor numbers. Yeah, stat line there. Six tackles, three sacks. Off Now, let's see how many. Did he get any pancakes? Yep, he got one pancake. One pancake Man. and a field goal. Yep. Can we see the, the kicking numbers and oh, punting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see what sure. we got here. They kicked a one field goal, right? So yep. he got one field goal, four extra points. Man, so he was, he was literally all over the place. Yeah, punting. <laughs> three, let's see, 44 yards of punt. 81 net yards. All right. Okay. And All see right. the returns. How did he do in return game? 25. Return. And 9.6.
Now, I think you add up all those little ingredients. Do we have a Heisman candidate here? I do want to talk about your game because I think it was probably the second most entertaining one. That was probably my favorite. No, I, I mean, this. I thought this was the best game of the I, Dynasty. I, I I agree with you. I mean, Sorry. this is Sorry. amazing. It is, it is not, your, it's not the second. I was thinking, like, the one we just did with Alpina was good just because of the glitch. But I think, I think yeah, I got to give this one to you. This was the greatest game. Yeah, and Even our games together. Yeah. That didn't really match up to this one. Unfortunately, we didn't come through in the end. Just had to play better on defense. I think if we don't get intercepted in OT, we, I think we probably would have won. See the offensive numbers, 629. South Dakota A&M was supposed to have a good defense. They're kind of like North Dakota State, right? Well, offensively, I think Lake Huron is like that next level team on offense. But the problem is our defense is terrible. Yeah, to think about how long this game went, went on, for both teams, only one turnover on the side, mm -hmm. on both sides. It's just kind of crazy. But Duckett, 23 of 29, three touchdowns. We got Goodry for 179, two scores. Duckett for two as well, receiving. They spread around. They spread yeah. around. They like Garlock, though. They like him a lot. Yep. He's the tight end flex receiver. 58 attempts for 536. Yeah, you know, Cash's arm is going to fall off. You know, I mean, we saw what we, he did against Kent State last year, threw the ball 80 times. It's yeah. going to happen again this year, more than likely. But Buttermilk, if I can lean on Buttermilk, maybe shrink the game a little bit. You know, maybe. It's a I, I'm not a believer in the uh, time of possession philosophy, but when you are a less talented team, the fewer overall possessions, the better. So if we go into MAC play, we play a team that's better than us, maybe running it will open up the variance. It is, it is kind of a double-edged sword because you do, if you're a bad team, I would think that you'd want more opportunities to no, you to, to have a chance because... <laughs> you're losing on a per-possession basis. Probably, yeah. You know, if you're Florida International, you're playing USC, would you rather have the game be one possession or 12 possessions? I don't know. Florida <laughs> International could beat USC 7 to nothing in a one-possession game. Just saying. It's true. All right. Michigan, Ohio Western. You know, Ohio Western, they were in the game. Yeah. Up until they started kind of self imploding. Yeah, the, the Pots fumble, I think, turned the tide in the game. I think Jackson tried to will them back in. You know, Pots throwing the ball was not bad. Right. So maybe it was but a bad. You, I mean, hey, you, you acted as the coach in this game. And I you, did. You had the early hook. But, you know, Jackson was kind of in that. That mole where he's like, well, he's going to get some snaps. And we're, we're going to, you know, the post game happens and they say, is Potts going to be benched? Uh, and then you say, the, the plan all along was to get Jackson. In the game. <laughs> They'll be going back to Potts in the next game, I'm sure. But I just, I just felt like, yeah, he went eight of eight, but they weren't really doing anything on offense when he was in there. They only had one touchdown, and then he made the mistake of the fumble. I'm like, we're not doing this. If you guys are going to run the football with options, it needs to be Justice Jackson. He's just more athletic. He's faster. That's the way it needs to be. Well, I do but, think that, um, you know, I think Jackson played well. So I do think you have a quarterback controversy. And then we got our W, 44-38. It was a pretty crazy second quarter. I mean, look at how many touchdowns there were. No field goals. It's just like we couldn't stop it, we, each other. In the third quarter, field goal, field goal. <laughs> field goal, field goal. Defense hey, they, stepped up. They stopped you in the red zone or close nearby the red zone mm -hmm. a handful of times. So it may be, any, I don't know, anything to clean up maybe on your end. I mean, you played well offensively, but defensively you got the turnovers. Yes, we did. Uh, the big fumble there by Kilgore's ghost, and then uh, the interception by Darby, and that wasn't even by me. That was all CPU. Go figure that. But, you know, I think to clean things up, again, we got to focus on making the right tackle, making the right decisions, not going for the big hits. Just make the simple tackle. Even diving at people's feet will do the job, but... You know, we get we get caught up in trying to make the big play versus just making the simple play, and, and I think it led to a lot of a lot of rushing yards again for Mayo and Abreu. Um, Abreu actually had some pretty nice throws deep as well. So, you know, uh, Gary should bounce back from this. But well, they play me next week, so we're we're a we're a much improved team, and I'm I'm impressed with uh, this win here, especially from Verlise, 31 to 37, four touchdowns, 83 percent. Like this has probably been his best, maybe his best game to date. Uh, rushing wise, we did get a lot of guys involved here, 
and receiving wise we we just love to spread it around that's our, our main goal on offense is to have everybody at least with five <laughs> at least five catches to try to force people open and um i'm impressed i'm impressed with our offense so that's it for week number one guys let's look ahead to week number two we've got indiana gary at lake huron so maybe you know this is a tough game for both teams both teams need a win here you're coming off a heartbreaker Indiana Gary, you could say that's a heartbreaker. They were thinking they were going to win that game over yeah, us. Yeah, it was probably an upset, according to the, the odds makers. But we do have the number one offense in the country. Woohoo! And Early. we're going to show up. We're going to we're gonna chuck the ball around the yard against Gary. But we're at home, and you're at home. Yep, and we got South Dakota A&M. In week three, let's see what kind of action we got for week three. Mac play opens for you, and um, we play Georgia Southern. Indiana Gary plays Alpina, so we will have Gary Alpina, and then Lake Huron, Georgia Southern, and you play Miami of Ohio. Yep, so we'll have more big game action for you guys here on Saturday, so make sure you guys leave a like if you like this thing, and then uh, going forward, we're going to be pushing through the season as much as we possibly can. We didn't get a lot of feedback there in the comment section on how many games you think we should sim or play, but I think we'll just uh, we'll feel that out throughout the rest of the, the year. And, um, and see what we can do on that front. But uh, some big games here. Week 5 is coming up too, by the way. Big boy. Are you ready yeah, for... That's a big one. You got that other PlayStation controller? Yet? I, we might have to buy one. But <laughs> yeah, I got a lot, of, a lot of good action coming up, guys. Again, leave a like if you like this. And we'll see you back here on Saturday for Week 2 and Week 3 Maction. We'll see you in the next one, guys. As always, thanks for watching and peace.